Hey everybody, Steve Nixon here with FreeJazzLessons.com. Thank you very much for joining me here for today's video. All right, I have a very special treat now. Uh, joining me here in the studio is one of my great piano friends, Mr. David Garfield is here with us. And David is a monster, monster musician. If you're not busy touring with uh, George Benson and David Sanborn, um, he's recording with people like Van Morrison and Boz Skaggs and Natalie Cole and Cher, like all these huge names, right? That's right. And you also are working on your own music and producing and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so incredibly amazing player, very busy guy. So David has graciously agreed to show us this amazing sort of pentatonic type run idea, right? Yes. Okay, cool. I am excited to learn it. Let's head over to the piano and let's learn from David. Thanks. Here's a lick that can be used over a minor seven chord and a major seven chord. Okay, let's break that down. Do a little slower. We're gonna start with our third finger on the B flat, fourth to the C, third to the B flat, second to the A flat, thumb. And that's a very natural positioning. Now, we're gonna go back up to the B flat with our third. Three, two, one, and we're gonna to turn to the index on the E flat, thumb on the C. Now I'm gonna start that last pattern here with the fourth finger on the A flat, third on the F, second on the E flat, and the thumb on the C. It really fits very naturally in the hand. Now, I'm gonna come back up with my fourth. I'm gonna run down the scale now. When I'm running down the scale, three, two, one, two, one, three, two, one, two, one, three, two, one. So David, one of the things that I noticed while you were breaking that down, it seemed like the beginning of the lick was several five note groupings, and then there was just a scale run at the end. Is that a good way of thinking about this particular lick? It is, and the five note groupings are more interesting to the ear than the typical four note groupings. Now, why do you say it's more interesting to the ear? Because it's less predictable. Normally we'll hear. To me, it, it's, it's a triplet rhythm and it's grouped in fives. But of course, I'm not thinking about it like that when I'm playing. I'm just playing from my heart. But when we break it down, it is three five, five note groups. That's awesome. So when you were just playing it like that, the thing that was really interesting is that, you know, in regards to those five note shapes is that it seemed like the accent was shifting and, and, and really being accent on the start of the five note shape. And that's the thing that really brings it its rhythmic variety. Is that a good assessment of some of the techniques there? It sure is. That's awesome. And it works both over the minor chord. And you can use it over a major seventh chord as well. For example, D flat major seventh. There's quite a few more chords you can use over besides those two as well. But that'll definitely get us started. So uh, everybody listening to this, first just start going slowly, take your time going through it, just get comfortable with the fingering that David just showed us, right? And then slowly start incorporating it. See if you can throw it in over some minor chords, right, inside your songs. And before you know it, you're going to be flying all over the keyboard using the techniques and the patterns that David just showed us. David, thank you so much for breaking this down for us. We really appreciate it. You're welcome.